All right, the next one is we're going to look at avoiding faulty coordination. What is that? Faulty coordination is when the second phrase or clause of a sentence does not logically follow the first phrase or clause of that sentence. Here are two examples of a faulty coordination. Although the gene copy numbers of strain A and strain B have been quantified in the river, these two clades cannot represent the entire community of unicellular diazotropes. Those two parts of the sentence don't logically connect. There's no reason to think that quantifying gene copy numbers means that they cannot represent the entire community. Even if they do represent the entire community, you could still analyze gene copy numbers. So those, those two phrases don't really logically connect. All right, a second example is almost 70% of all global deaths are due to non-communicable diseases, colon. A third of those were individuals aged 69 years or older. There's no reason to think that individuals 69 years of age or older are the only ones that can catch non-communicable diseases. That's not really a logical length. Those are two different facts that these authors are trying to establish, but they're not logically connected to each other. My suggestions would be to revise these two sentences as we see here. These strain A and strain B clades have been identified in the river, suggesting that they are a part of the community of unicellular diazotrophs. So the first thing I did was I removed the gene copy numbers of strain A and strain B. It seems to me that the presence of strain A or strain B is more important than their gene copy numbers. That's what the sentence is about, the presence or absence of different organisms in these communities. So the gene copy numbers don't really have anything to do with that. But even if we took that out, the original sentence is saying that although we found strain A and B in the river, they cannot represent the entire community. Well, why not? I mean, the, that logically doesn't work. I and mean, the thing that's throwing me is the word although. Although they were found in the river, they cannot possibly be all of the community. Well, that's probably true, but the although part makes it something that there are steps left out. So I took away the although and I changed the emphasis to reflect what I believe the authors mean, which is we've identified these strains in the river, but there are probably additional things living there. That's what my revision is getting at. So instead of using this negative language, they cannot represent the entire community, I changed it into uh, a different orientation, suggesting that they're part of a bigger community. For the second revision, I just separated it into two different sentences because there's no way to logically connect those two ideas in the same sentence. Here's another example of this faulty coordination. Our assay differentiates between vaccinated and non-vaccinated individuals by measuring antibodies against the N protein, semicolon. The current vaccines and several in the pipeline are all based on the S protein. Okay, well, there's really no logical connection between this assay uses the N protein and other assays use the S protein. What the authors are trying to do there is set up a contrast in comparison, uh, but they've written it such that it's a logical relationship. So what I would suggest them to do is revise it this way. Our assay differentiates between vaccinated and non-vaccinated individuals by measuring antibodies against the N protein. In contrast, the current vaccines and several in the pipeline are all based on the S protein. So the same information, but it's a little bit more clear what the relationship between those different clauses is intended to be.